welcome to another interesting episode of Trust Flash with Aisha. As always, in Trust Flash, we bring you captivating entertainment stories from all around the entertainment world. Not forgetting the juicy celebrity gist, movie reviews, spotlight, and lots more. But before we begin, let's go on a short break. Stay put, and we'll be right back. Welcome back guys, first on our segment today is Celebrity Gist. I'll be kicking off with Ghanaian actress Yvonne Nelson six clarification about modern day marriages. Popular Ghanaian actress Yvonne Nelson has taken to her Twitter account to ask questions about modern day marriages. According to her, most people get married primarily for physical attraction, to get an international passport, child birth and others. She further pondered if anyone still walks down the aisle for the sake of true love or if it's truly based on agenda. Anyways, for me, there's still true love out there. We just hope we find our match. Moving on to our next story. Last week was full of Rita Dominic's wedding celebration. Wow, it was one of a big wedding. And so veteran Nollywood actress Omotala Jalade came out to say that she will not hesitate to deal with Rita Dominic's husband if he messes up. Omotala said this in an Instagram post while congratulating the couple on their wedding. Rita Dominic got married to her heart rob Fidelis Anoseke in Oweri, Imo State on April 19th as Nigerian celebrity graced the ceremony. Congratulations once again to Rita Dominic. Moving on, Sheishe welcomes first child. Singer Sheishe has announced the arrival of her new baby. She made the announcement on her Instagram page on Friday. She says her eagle has landed and thanks everyone for wishing her well. Congratulations to Sei She from all of us here on Trust Flash. Moving on to our last story for this segment. Popular comedian Bobby Uboma says he has been banned from entering the United States. Bobby made this known while responding to questions from his fans on Instagram. A fan had asked him to visit and perform in Boston, but Bobby said he was banned from the US after he he clashed with a visa issuing officer and got labeled. That sounds like a sad story. We wish you well, Bobby. And that's it on this segment. Moving on is Ariwa fashion. As you all know, in this segment, we bring you different fashion styles, mainly from Ariwa, for you to do it yourself or otherwise. So today, we are going to look at some different henna designs, facials and hairstyles. We all know Sella celebration is fast approaching and henna, facials and hairstyles are things we ladies do to beautify ourselves. Take a look. Now to our next segment, Spotlight. And on Spotlight today, we have a guest, a comedian, a role model, young and talented here with us in the studio. And he's no one but 
Aminu, the comedian. Welcome to Trust Flash. It's good to have you here today. Thank you very much for having me. <laughs> All right, let's just go further. Right. Okay, um, how did your journey into comedy begin and um, what inspired you? Uh, okay, well, I, I was the funny guy in the clique, mm. in the group of friends while growing up. I was always cracking everybody up. Yeah. And uh, I decided to make it professional while growing up. I started watching Basket Mouth and the rest. Okay. Night of a Thousand Laughs specifically. <laughs> yes. I was always buying every edition just oh, to wow. stay on updates on the comedy industry. And I joined them later. Hmm. Yeah. I think that's the best decision you've taken because yeah. I'm actually a fan. I really appreciate your work. Thank you very much. Okay, um, what do you do in your spare time apart from shooting for comedy? Ah, most of my spare time I sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I try to sleep because I don't sleep often. Okay. Like, Within the past three to four days now, I've been on the road. So yeah. for any little break I get, I sleep. Okay. Yeah, so I sleep more. So what's your favorite food are you a proper african or, <laughs> ah, or this you one. do bread and tea <laughs> this one you know bread, bread and tea you're talking about the way you eat it depends mm -hmm. uh, eating bread and tea some people will drink the tea and eat the bread but eh? it's sweeter when you <laughs> the bread into the tea. yeah okay mm, I, I like i like pounded yam and mm -hmm. igusi. proper african <laughs> man <laughs> i i like pounded yam and igusi. okay that's my mumu but <laughs> <laughs> All right, can you tell us about the outfit you mostly use for your comedy? Like, ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that outfit has suffered. It has suffered, actually. <laughs> uh, my dry cleaner sees it like every now and then. They say, why are you always washing this outfit? Okay. Uh, I, I got the outfit from an event. It was a souvenir, actually. Oh. Because I use an apron sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes I just use normal suit for interviews. Okay. Uh, the apron, I got it from an event I anchored. It was a souvenir. And I said, why will, I be, why will you be giving me an apron uh -huh. for a souvenir? When I go to home, I was like, mm -hmm. this apron should always because I... <laughs> I don't cook often, okay. let me not lie, I don't cook often. Mm -hmm. So instead of the apron wasting, mm -hmm. let me just do something with it. And I tried something and I used an accent to do something yeah, with the apron. Yeah, you used it once. You <sighs> it traveled. Yeah, that's nice, that's nice. Oh, so the accent you use, it sounds yeah. like Igala. Yeah, so many people say and it sounds like Igala. Does it have a story <laughs> behind it? Yeah, it's actually an Igala accent. Okay. <sighs> I lived in a neighborhood in Maraba then called Kabai, where the Igala people are mostly the majority there, they are the majority there. Okay. So every day it keeps cracking me up where you keep hearing the Igala accents, trying to make a conversation. It's actually funny, they are mm. pronunciations, they are everything. Yeah. I notice we have the likes of Shaggy doing the Yoruba accent, yeah. Nidu and my friend Sarikindari are doing the house accent. Yeah. I was like, okay, why don't I just do something different? And it's an ethnic group people know, but they don't really know them with this accent. They yes, don't know yeah. them. So I have to just bring it out. So people are now going back to really trace, is this how the Igala people speak? Yeah, yeah, that's true. And yeah. So are you Igala? Yes, like, I'm Igala. That's <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah. So have you considered um, stand-up comedy before? I started stand-up comedy. I just started making skit to a year or two. Okay. I've been yeah, doing stand-up comedy cool. for like eight years now. Okay. Yeah. So which among your comedy skit is your favorite? Yeah, I think I have two. Yeah. I, which one is uh, it? One where I was asked to read um, the statement of account of what I sold that week. Okay. And one where I went for an interview and I was asked to for, to be a presenter just like you. Yeah. <laughs> and I was asked to... I think I've seen that seen one. That. <laughs> So I was asked to pronounce some stuff, and the typical yeah. Igala man can't really work with those words, yeah. like the likes of Al Jazeera, you can't okay, say so it. Okay, so what do you guys say? Yeah, the, <laughs> the you know, the J. Uh -huh. Where Igala people see Z, it's J to us. So instead of Al Jazeera, it's Al Jajila. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that. Okay. Yeah. So what's the best reaction you've gotten so far from your fans? Ah, it's really been an awesome ride so far because mm -hmm. I've been doing skits for like two years now, but I think within January to this time, that's when I got my major breakthrough and yeah. not the major, the beginning of the breakthrough. Yeah. Uh, some fans, I, I made a video, the video got over 100,000 views wow, and nice. someone reposted and got 7 million views. Yeah. And I was like, wow. 
from there I started receiving messages that yeah. we we'll see, we'll see your contents here, even from Canada, abroad, wow, they keep nice. calling. Mm. Yeah, you are representing the Igala Nation where we are watching you from <laughs> abroad. Okay. Yeah. So do you use your comedies to send messages ah, most times, out there to people? Most times I don't, I don't just do normal humor. I try to make you laugh. Yeah. Then maybe in a week I drop like three videos. I'll make you laugh twice. Then I'll just drop one with the message. Mm -hmm. I did one about um, cyber crime. I did on drugs. Yeah. And I'm doing on the current video trending online about how underage yeah, students so were doing stuff. That's really nice. Yeah, so. so in your opinion, how do you think entertainment will contribute to solving Nigeria's problem? Yeah, it's going to go, it's going to go a long way. Okay. Uh, I think most people now are online. Everybody yeah. is online now. 90% of the world is online. Everything is online. So both the young and the old are exposed to being watching contents online. That was why that young girl from that school did what she yes, did. Yes. She's been watching stuff online. So if we can be pushing the message out there, they will also be watching it. That's so true. and there's one thing about message, once it keeps coming over and over again, you just have to consider it. Yeah, that's really yeah, true. So. so how many languages do you speak? Fluently Gala. Okay. Uh, I understand how Sabo I don't speak fluently. Okay. I understand Igbo, yeah. I understand Yoruba. Well, I don't speak them fluently, but you can communicate with me and I would know what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, yes, okay, yeah. that's okay. Are you considering any collaboration or doing a comedy um, skit in any language apart yeah. from that Igala accent? Yeah, I think um, having one coming in with the Hausa accent, I, I do Igala. Okay. Sari Kindaria is doing Hausa. Okay, okay, so that's we are, nice. We did a skit, but it's dropping me. Oh, that's nice. So we, can't, we can't wait because, yeah. seriously, you are already, I don't know, you're, you're looking at yourself, it's just funny. You know, we are trying to bring in an Igbo guy, let's okay. see if it's going to work, but for now we have the Igala and House Hub, it's quite hilarious. Okay. You will love it when it drops. Yeah, I know, I will. <laughs> All right, where do you see your comedy in the next five to ten years? Yeah, uh, the comedy has always been something I, I'm passionate about actually quit so many things just to do comedy. Mm. So I think I've been seeing the results and I can actually say I can do comedy for the rest of my life and I'll yeah. be okay. Mm, that's nice. Yeah, I want to be very big in this industry, very, very big. And I think I'm, in tra I'm on track. Yeah, you are. I, I didn't picture my content being this big by this time mm. last year. Mm. Uh, so I think in the next five years, I should be also one of the major influencers. You would want to look up to that, okay, like we know macaroni for always been an activist yeah, and also yeah. a comedian online so i should also be one of those comedians who would know that ah this guy passes his messages and he's also making us laugh yeah. in the next five years we hope I so too we hope so too yeah so have you won any awards so far yeah i think competitions i majorly what gave me the drive in this comedy was i won a comedy competition 2019 mc tagwa did a competition for one millionaire and I was mm. the winner. Wow. We had comedians from the 36 states. Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't say I was the best, but... You were the winner, so <laughs> you were the best. <laughs> but somehow, somehow, the audience loved me and... Okay. Yeah. So, any embarrassing moment from your fans so far? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yes. I was in an eatery in Lokoja. Okay. And... Someone approached me, I was like, hey, I mean, what's up? And the guy squeezed me just to take a picture. And I was like, okay, yeah, let's take a picture. Yeah. After snapping, I was like, I should show them love now. Ah, ah. And you, yeah. actually, I would have, but yeah. I, was, I was with a card, I wasn't holding cash. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I'll be coming back to this eat treat mm -hmm. later. I said, you no, I saw with the, yeah. <laughs> I saw with the, and I will just talk. We don't use our data watch. Now you are yeah. using my data to watch me, but you are laughing too. So I'm also yeah. doing something for you. Mm -hmm. That was quite embarrassing because yeah, people yeah. were now watching now. I get. Yeah. So, um, you love music, right? Very well. I sleep with music mm, every day. That's nice. Yeah. So, um, what are your top five musicals? Uh, like what I, try? I like. No, because I like patronizing Afro beats. I, people like the foreign music. Everybody try to do tush yeah. tush, but mm, I like Nigerian music. Okay. And my favorite artist is Davido. Mm. Even though Whiskey is making us proud everywhere, we have the Davido fans and the yeah. Whiskey fans always battling. But me, I'm on the side of Davido because okay. I have this mindset of rising, we like rise by lifting, lifting others, others yeah, always true. trying to come through for people. Mm. So I like Davido and 
when I want to sleep, I listen to Fireboy. His songs are calm, and, mm. and I think I like CK too. Uh, that's three. For the for the females, I like uh, I like I, I Rasta. Okay. And lastly, who should I give the last spot? Mm. The last spot, so should I give? Let me give a female too. I listen to Tiwa Savage too. Mm. Yeah. So, from these five mm. musicians you've called, yeah. what music okay, of theirs do you like? The video, till tomorrow, till next year. Yeah. I would like the videos, Fire. Okay. I like fire by the video. CK is the one, love one entity that is causing problems <laughs> yeah, all over the world. And from Ira Star, I like the one with um, CK2, mm. Bengi Bengi. Yeah. Then Tiwa Savage, uh, I like her. She did Kele Kele Love, then that was where she caught me from. Mm. Then I started following her up. Mm. Then she did a collab with Pato Rankin, Gelio. That one also got me. Okay. So I think I can listen to those songs over and over and over again. All right, that's nice. Yeah. So, any message to your fans out there before yeah, you go? Yeah. I'm all about the morals, though. We need to get the society back in order. Let's... I know I'm trying to make you laugh, too, but also listen to the message in there. Mm. Cybercrime is not the only way to make money. There's money online right now. If I mm. tell you from content creation, I know I'm not making much yet, but I know what I'm seeing. At least I can take care of my family from the little I'm doing right now. Yeah. So there are so many things you can do with your talent. Just, let's just get it right. Let's, the society is decaying every day. It's left for us to bring it back. So I'm appealing to my fans. This is Amino talking to you. Please, let's get it right. Let's get the society back to the moral standard it's supposed to be. All right, thank you so much for joining us thank today, Mr. Me. Amino. We thank hope you. to see more of you. Sure. All right. You will. Viewers, you've heard it all from your guy, Aminu the Comedian. Mm. And with this, we have come to the end of today's episode. Don't forget to join us same time next week for more interesting episodes. Until then, it's bye for now. <laughs>